Yeah, that's wild, man. I didn't know that, man. That's crazy, man. But I want to backtrack to the movie, right? So when they got Easy e selling weed before he passed away, that's a lie. It never got to a point where Easy e was selling weed. Oh, no, no. See, no, man, he was a hustler. Like, 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 like he, like he never stopped selling weed. Even doing NWA and Easy e And it, he was like, yo, man, like, we used to be riding with E, man, and like <laughs> this dude used to, we'd be in the car like running, ride through, but just do to the city. He be making errands like dropping weed off here, dropping weed off there. You know what I'm saying? Like so, and he told us one day. He said, "Hey, man, if it could be sold, I'ma sell it." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I'm a hustler, I'm a hustle. You know what I'm saying? And that's exactly what he did. Speaking of E, if you can go into detail, I don't know if you was there. Was you there when he had that um, meeting with Ice Cube in New York? Oh yeah, oh yeah, we was there. We we was he um he actually took us to uh we was we were on a um and and and, uh, and them him meeting with Ice Cube wasn't even planned. That was like total coincidence because we like he took us out there, you know, because we did uh. <clears throat> we did um, Yo MTV Raps I think with Fab Five Freddy we did Yo MTV Raps out there and uh, Easy went with us and he was tripping he was like man they ain't even they ain't even never asked me to come on Yo MTV Raps <laughs> you know what I'm saying like so we went up um, we went down there with us and man like we kicked it the whole time it was cold it was real cold in New York and we all went and bought um Easy bought us all like leather jackets, black leather jackets, and we was just walking around New York, you know what I'm saying, in the cold. And um, we went to the, uh, I think the club was a tunnel, I believe. We went to the club. And uh, man, it's crazy because the night was crazy, you know, because uh, at the door, Heavy D, Heavy D was at the door like he was the bouncer, you know what I'm saying, at the club. He just standing at the door like, Greeting everybody to come in, looking like a big bouncer. I'm like, oh, I'm like, bro, this is heavy D, bro. You know, like, cause like, we still fresh. You know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't, we ain't even had a, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we, our, our single is just our thuggish, ruggish bone. Like, so, us seeing these dudes, we tripping. Like, bro, that's heavy D right there. So, you know, we go, we go up in the club, and uh, as we walking through the club. I remember this like it was yesterday. Uh, I feel somebody like pull on my hood. I turn around, it's LL Cool J. And he like, he like big ups, I see y'all. I'm like, I'm like, yo, bro, LL Cool J know who he is, bro. I'm like, I'm tripping, you know what I'm saying? Cause this is one of my all time, one of my all time favorites. So we go in, we, uh, we get in a little area and easy and Cube having to see each other. Now, you know, like with all, you know, with the beefs and stuff that's going on, we automatically thinking like, oh man, it's about, it's about to go down up in here. You know what I'm saying? But bro, it was the total opposite. Like they, they embraced and hugged like they was long lost brothers, bro. It wasn't nothing but smiles and, you know what I'm saying? They was kicking it, they sat down. I, I think they had a, you know, drink or so, you know what I'm saying? And we was off, we was off like, in the in the cut doing our set, but we could see them, you know, like talking. It was never no no drama. I don't remember, you know what I'm saying? There was never no, you know, no no kind of beef or static or nothing like that that I can recall. You know what I'm saying? It was it was cool. And that night was cool. Was it true that they was trying to get NWA back together or Oh yeah, he he always told us that. You know, he it it it, it was his it was his goal to try to have an NWA reunion, you know, um, especially when he, you know, was being around us and, you know, he was, uh, you know, we had the whole group, the whole group vibe, you know, and we reminded him of NWA, he told us. He was like, yeah, you know what I mean? Me and my dudes, you know, but, um, oh yeah, that, that was definitely a mission of his, for sure.